Homecoming is right around the corner and we've got all the details. Plus, the Malk Essay Contest is underway with a chance to win some great prizes. And of course, we've got your sports report with everything that's happening in the Malk, world of Malk Athletics. All that just ahead on Patriots Today. Good morning and welcome to Patriots Today. I'm Mark Rogers. And I'm Haley Quillen. And we've got a lot to cover today, so let's get to it. It's time once again for the Malk Essay Contest. Students in middle and high school are encouraged to type a four to 600 word essay, which will be judged on theme, originality and organization. Seventh and eighth graders should write about the America I believe in, while high school students have the topic, My Responsibility to America. The writer of the top essay will receive a $100 gift card with Second and third place receiving $50 gift cards each. Fourth through eighth place will all get a $25 gift card. The essays are due Monday, October 3rd, and can be submitted to Mr. Hartman on the middle school campus or Mrs. Demers or Sessions on the high school campus. The contest mirrors the National Voice of Democracy contest sponsored by the VFW and students are encouraged to audio record their essays for submission to the contest for local, state, and national prizes. Homecoming is only three weeks away, which means we've got a lot coming up. Spirit Week, the Bonfire Pep Rally, Friday night's Homecoming Game, the annual car show and Malk Market, and of course the Homecoming Dance. Student Council held a flash mob event in the gym yesterday during lunch to give a sneak peek of the dance theme. And I spoke with Student Council's Public Affairs Officer Trinity Hayes to get more details. Student Council held a flash mob revealing the theme for Homecoming 2016. The theme is Great Gatsby, and the colors are black, white, and gold. The tickets for the dance are being sold by pre-sale and regular. Pre-sale sold September 26th through the 29th, and the prices for singles are 20, and the couple's prices are 35. Now, regular sold October 3rd through October 13th, and the prices will go up for regular. For singles, it'll be 35, and for couples, it'll be 45. So the schedule for Spirit Week and the assigned games. So Monday's tie-dye day, and that'll be plunger army crawl. Tuesday will be nerd versus doc, and that's gonna be donut string. Wednesday is Color Wars, and then the game will be Tug of War. And Thursday is Patriot Day, and we're playing Hungry Hungry Hippos. The colors for each class, seniors are black, juniors are blue, sophomores are red, freshmen are gray, junior high is going to be yellow, elementary is green, and the staff are purple. Thank you, Trinity. The IT department has expanded their customer service hours. If you bring your own tablet or laptop to school and want to get your device hooked up to Wi-Fi for free internet access, you can now visit the department any day of the week, before or after school. Stop by their office in Building O on the high school campus and make sure that you have antivirus software installed, updated, and running before you visit. Please note that antivirus software is not required on Apple iPads, and remember that you must follow all the same rules for using computers on campus, whether the device is yours or the school's. Sophomores and juniors, if you're thinking about going to college after high school, then this test is for you. The, prelimin the Preliminary Scholastic Aptitude Test, or PSAT, will be held on campus next month, October 19th. The exam costs $15 and you need to sign up in the high school counselor's office by October 13th. The first 30 students are guaranteed a seat. For more information, please see the high school counselors. The high school chess club meets today at 3.07 p.m. in Mr. Demers' room. All levels of chess proficiency are welcome to attend. The Middle School Builders Club is a service organiza organization open to all students grades 6 through 8. Builders Club meets every Wednesday morning at 7.30 in Ms. Mr. Moss's room on the Middle School campus. The Strategy Game Club meets every Thursday in Mr. Carlson's room after school and is open to all middle and high school students. And that's your school news. Today in History is next, followed by your sports report. American General Benedict Arnold met with the British to negotiate the surrender of West Point in exchange for money and position in 1780. In 1820, Civil War Union General John Fulton Reynolds was born in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. The largest bomber ever used in war, the B-29 Superfortress, made its debut flight in Seattle, Washington in 1942. 
Welcome back. It's time for your sports report with Chris Swagger. That's right, Haley. We've only got one game, home game left this week. Middle School Volleyball hosts the Lake Havasu team from Thunderbolt Middle School today. B team plays the first set at 3 o'clock, followed by A team at 4. Come to the battleground after school and cheer on our Lady Patriots. And speaking of middle school, the football team is on the road this afternoon to Needles, California. That game will be played at Needles High School at 5 o'clock. The middle, middle and high school cheer squads are holding a fundraiser next Monday. The Chili's Give Back Night gives you a chance to eat out with your family at the Chili's restaurant, knowing that 15% of your ticket will come back to the school. So grab a flyer from the school offices and go eat with your family and friends on Monday to support our cheerleaders. And finally, don't forget that tomorrow is the last day to submit payment and order a letterman's jacket this year. If you have not been sized or have not paid, please do so by tomorrow. And that's your sports report. I'm Chris Swagger. Thank you, Chris. Let's grab a quick look at today's elementary lunch menu. And that's all we've got for today. We'll see you next week. That's right, Haley. And don't forget to come out and cheer for middle school volleyball today at 3. Have a great day, everyone.